Welcome back to the stage of history. You know, and that's that's not fair to the company either. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I under I, I understand that. Um, I understand that with the sign-on bonus, I, it's it's kind of it's kind of different that the way you guys pay it out um, from what I from what I talk to other companies by the way they pay out their sign-on bonus, which uh -huh. I, which I can understand, which which is a good thing. I mean, you would want to pay out the sign-on bonus within the first couple of weeks of coming on with a company instead of getting, you know, paid out in increments throughout a year or two. So, but after, but after nine months, you know, you know, somebody will say, oh, okay, well, I don't like this company and, you know, this ain't going to work out for me. You know, you guys definitely will take that sign on bonus back. So, yeah. Okay. Higher. What are, what are your higher areas? I'm out of Ohio. What part of Ohio? Cleveland. Okay. You would be. You'd probably be looking at being out on the road anywhere from three to five weeks. That's fine. Uh, is Ohio is Ohio is the only area that you hire out of? No, absolutely not. We hire from anywhere in the United States. Oh, okay. Of course, where you live depends on how often you'll get to go home. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, where are the terminals located at? We only have one. It's we are in West Salem Springs, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, awesome! I love Oklahoma. As as far as the sign-on bonus, we did go over that. It is twenty five twenty five fifty, uh, yeah. paid out within the first couple of weeks, and then after after completion of the nine months, if we decide to stay, we keep it, and if we leave, we have to pay it back. Do you guys do you guys require a hair follicle test for pre pre employment drug testing? No. All right. Is there an agility test requirement? A what? Agility test? No. Okay. What's you your... do go get a DOT physical whenever you um, come on day one orientation. Okay. Okay. What's your policies on felons? On what? Felon. Drivers with felonies. It just depends on what the felony is and how long ago it happened. Okay. Where is the orientation held at? In Oklahoma? West Salem Springs, Oklahoma, yeah. All right. And that $350 for two days is after completion for orientation? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What is the CPM per mile? What's the starting CPM there? Right. It's, it fluctuates depending on Department of Fuel and Transportation. Right now, we're at about $1.20 per mile for dry loads and empty miles. Mm -hmm. thirty per mile for all reefer loads, which is the majority of what we haul. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Is the is the pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale? It's a sliding scale. So it is a sliding scale. So yeah. So we get more for short hauls and less for long hauls. No, your your mileage pay is your mileage pay. Oh, okay. But we're going to pay you actual miles, not a guesstimated amount. You're going to get paid at actual miles. Okay, okay. So that's so pay based on straight miles and not a step slightly. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you guys offer? Do you guys offer pay advances? We do. Okay. How often? How often does the pay increase? So how often do we get a raise? Um, it just depends on your um, contract, how long you go without any kind of issues, violations, anything like that. You get a $2,500 bonus incentive um, every quarter mm -hmm. with completing 40,000 miles or more awesome. with no violations. Okay, okay. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? It is not offered. All right. Do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? And no, I'm, we don't, I'm going because yeah, you're not a company. Yeah, driver. I, I was just about to say that. I, I was about to say I assume not, being that this is a contract base. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? We do not, because you're not going to uh, break down. Anytime you break down, if we need to put that truck in the shop, mm -hmm. he's gonna. The owner's going to do his best to try to get you a rental truck so you can keep rolling. You're gotcha. not going to be laid up in a hotel for. 
a week or two waiting on that truck to get ready. Gotcha. Okay, awesome. How often do layovers happen? Not often, I take it. Not often. Not often at all. Is it? Is it? If it does happen, is it paid? Um, after twenty-four hours, yes. Okay. Do we get paid for multiple stops? Yes. Okay. Awesome. What been? Well, that's a that's probably might be a company driver question. You guys don't offer benefits, being that you. No. Okay. Do you guys require hazmat? No. Okay. Okay. How many how many miles I can average a week? Three thousand plus miles per week. Awesome. What lanes are available? So you mentioned uh, you mentioned. I'm assuming you guys got OTR. Uh, do you guys have? We are like, we are OTR, but it's pretty pretty much um, a designated run lane. When you come to Oklahoma for orientation, you mm -hmm. leave here with a load of Tyson headed across forty to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. When you deliver there, you're going to get loaded with produce or seafood, come all the way back across 40 through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Virginia, and go up to Hunts Point Market in New York. Okay. Then you either turn and come back the same way or go over through Columbus, Indianapolis, Oklahoma City, and back out to L.A. Okay, okay. That's a lot of miles right there. <laughs> so, all I mean, you mentioned all miles is paid. And it's calculated yeah. by hub miles, right? Right. Awesome. Do you guys have an idle policy for your trucks? We don't idle because your truck has an APU. Okay. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Um, we do not reimburse scales. Tolls are paid for because the pike pass and the pre-pass are equipped in the truck. Gotcha. Uh, what's the percentage of dropping hooks? Um... I would say it varies because in the event we need to repower a load, all of our trucks on there are on the same run lane. So okay. you may get dispatched on a load that we know you don't have time to deliver, mm -hmm. but that's okay because that all the trucks are on the same run lane. We can just repower the load. Okay. So pretty much that equals a drop and hook, and it really doesn't matter because you get paid by the mile anyway. Okay, cool. What's the uh, now? You mentioned home time. You you mentioned it a few times. So what's the actual home time policy? It just it it, to, it totally is up to the driver. Of course, the more you are home, especially the longer you are home, um, it's going to put you further behind. But the company does give you two free truck payments per month mm -hmm. um, to help you with your home time. Okay, so let me uh, ask about that. I, I was about to ask about that. So, of course, you guys take uh, take payments for truck payments every week. How how much is that payment? It depends on which lease you select. If you do the thirty six month lease, it would be three eighty five a week. If if you want to own the truck, it would be six thirty five a week. Okay, so the low end is three three eighty five. Three eighty five. That ain't bad. That's that's that sounds better than most uh, lease purchases that I have heard in the past. I heard we some. We are better. I heard I heard some astronomical lease prices. <laughs> that's why I was. Right. That's that's why I was I I was always afraid of going into that because of how much it is every every week um now you have your daily operating expenses that's going to average in between 50 and 65 dollars a day depending on how many miles you run per day okay and that covers basically your tri-pack apu usage and maintenance mm -hmm. so if anything happens to your apu it's taken care of mm -hmm. um your 2290 tax truck physical damage insurance mm -hmm. Um, your one penny per mile state road use tax, mm -hmm. um, five dollars a day for your base plate. Um, but like I said, that total category of operating expenses is going to be anywhere from fifty to sixty-five a day. Now, I now go going back to what I asked you earlier about how many miles a week a driver can average. How much? Mm -hmm. How much? How mu How much of a settlement that a driver can average a week? You're guaranteed in your first 90 days to bring home no less than $1,200 with being available for dispatch for six out of the seven days of a week. 
in the event that you let's say you were to take an extra day off mm -hmm. it would they would just deduct two hundred dollars so you would bring home uh, bring home a thousand dollars for that week okay but after you get past the 90 days our drivers average anywhere bring home from a thousand to up to 2300 bring home it depends on what your work ethic is we have the miles it's up to you whether you're going to run them and get that money. You, you mentioned about uh, two free weeks of of not having a truck payment. So, I I guess I can ask this question: What is the maximum amount of days that I can take off? Now, I'm asking that question. Usually, I usually I would ask it as a company aspect, but being that you're that you're a lease. I'm assuming I could take as much time off as I want, but if I do that, um, what will happen? What I mean, what are you, how long are you talking? You uh, have to give me an idea. Uh, well, let's say like the maximum days. So say like I want to take a week off. Would, would, would a week be the maximum you're amount not gonna of do. You're not going to do that anytime real soon after joining the company without bringing the truck to the yard. Oh, okay. Okay. Other than the other than the one lane that you mentioned about the the I forty, uh, there is is there any dedicated or any slip seating in the company? No. Okay. All right. What's the driver turnover there? Very very low. Very low. Our percentage is maybe three percent. Okay. Okay. What's the pet and rider policy? Um, riders, as long as they are, uh, they don't have a Class A CDL mm -hmm. and no children under the age of six. Mm -hmm. That policy, one thousand dollar non refundable mm -hmm. <coughs> deposit, with um, uh, and we will hold that out in small increments. Okay. Now, you mentioned New York City and California, so my question is this: Is there forced dispatch to either or places? It's not forced, but that's where all of our loads go. So if you turn down a load, the next load they dispatch you on is going to be going to the same place. So the only thing you're doing really is delaying the time that you're going to leave ahead that way. Wow. New York State or New York City or both? Just It's just across the George Washington Bridge in New York. Oh, okay. And then you mentioned Los, Ange uh, Los Angeles, California. Mm hmm okay okay all right so I'm working for you let's say I'm working for you if uh, if let's say I decide to walk away from the lease and everything so if I decide to quit what's the policies for turning in the truck um, you let the um, dispatch your driver manager know mm -hmm. that you are turning in your notice and they will route you to the yard what uh, what equipment do you offer, and are there autos or 10 speeds or both? We will never have an automatic in our fleet. Our trucks are 13 and 18 speeds. Mm -hmm. They are all 579 peaks with an 80-inch sleeper, mm -hmm. um, equipped with a TV microwave, power inverter, refrigerator, pike pass, pre-pass equipped tolls made by the company. The trucks have the APU and the S-bar heater on them, and they are getting anywhere from eight to ten point two miles to the gallon okay other than uh drive in and reefer do you do you offer any other divisions no all right we don't even have any drive van trailers all of our trailers are reefer trailers oh, okay we do haul the occasional dry loads mm -hmm. in the reefer trailer all right does the truck come with a drive cam yes Forward facing is a critical critical event activated only mm -hmm. and we do not have access to be able to pull it we actually have to contact another company to get them to pull the footage and then it is sent to us that would be we do not have the ability to sit at a computer and watch you drive okay so that is it forward facing the driver or is it just forward facing the road or we both? have them both both okay what's the uh being that you got 18 speeds, what are the trucks governed at? They're governed at either 70 or 75, depending on if we can get 10 years of verified over-the-road experience on you. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, here I got a I got a few more questions, uh, and we'll be done. Do you have an open door policy? 
Absolutely. Okay, awesome. A now, lot of companies have different policies when it comes to cell phone use. Yeah. What is yours? Hands free. All right. What is the number one reason to drive for Hurricane Express? Because you work for a with a family, you're part of a family environment, not a corporate world. We are at about 110 units on the road. Um, the owner and his brother work in dispatch every day. Their mother processes driver payroll. Um, you're not going to find anybody more engaged with the drivers than you do with Hurricane. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. So this is like a total family unit there so if, if yeah. i have any if i have any issues with payroll i i will call the the brother's mother huh actually you're not going to call their mom you're probably going to contact um sean allen which would be my director oh okay okay and he answers to the mother yes <laughs> all right well what's your name again Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. Is there any? What's your name? My name's Sean. Sean. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything else that you can add that I haven't touched on? I think we pretty much touched everything. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, how long have you been? How long have you been a recorder for the company? Because it sounds like you know um, your stuff. Ten months. Ten months. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. And that you know so much about this company, the information. Well, that you it's not hard. It's not hard to know because, like I said, you work in with a family, so there's we're not huge. You basically do a lot more than you know what your direct responsibility is, and it's part of teamwork. Awesome, awesome. Well, Stephanie, I would like to let you know that I record all my conversations with uh, with with the companies that I'm interested in. But so I, I want to thank you for taking the time and giving me information about a uh, hurricane. You can send the information to me via email, but if there's any anything else I would like to know, what's the website that I can go to? HurricaneExpressInc.com. All right. Um, and there you can click on each of those tabs. It'll give you more information. And then if you, in the event you're ready to apply, the top of the screen is an apply online. You just click it. It takes you through the Intel app process. Very good, ma'am. Well, thank you very much for uh, for your time, and thank you for the for the Q and A session. I really appreciate. Hey, no problem. Thank you. You have a uh, thank you. You have a blessed day. You too. All right. Bye bye. This was a lease purchase only company. They have no driver, no company drivers at all. It's uh, a 36 month lease and you can get another lease longer than that. And you could probably get a lease that can bump you right into your own truck if you if you uh, decide to go that route. So yeah, what you guys think of that? I mean, wow, I I was very surprised at how much she said that the that the uh, low end for the for the lease every week. Oh, it's a, a 36 month lease and you can get another lease longer than that and you could probably get a lease that can bump you right into your own truck if you if you uh, decide to go that route so yeah what you guys think of that i mean wow i i was very surprised at how much she said that the that the uh low end for the for the lease every week guys what do you think of the call? You know, leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any questions for me to ask these recruiters, leave that in the comments below. And as always, who's next? Who's next? I don't know who's next.